Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Mugat. And today I will demonstrate you how to use uh, array command in AutoCAD. Uh, I am using AutoCAD 2018. And if you are using a below version or a future version, you can still follow this tutorial. First, uh, we will look at the definition of array. And then we will look at the types of array and the examples that are used in uh, real life. And then we will move into AutoCAD and uh, I uh, will do the example. So let's go to the definition of array. And uh, uh, well, array is the command that is used to draw multiple copies of an object in a particular fashion or a uh, pattern. And uh, in AutoCAD, we have uh, three types of arrays. This is the rectangular array. This is the polar array or circular array. Uh, some software called uh, circular array instead of uh, polar array. And this is the path array. Okay. And uh, let's uh, look some of the examples in uh, real life. And uh, uh, this is the example of a rectangular array. As you can see that these scans are arranged in uh, rows and columns. Okay. Also, this is the example of a rectangular array. And this is the example of a chessboard. And this is also the example of a rectangular array. Uh, this is the example of a polar array or a circular array. And this is the example of a chair and table and this is the mechanical gear or uh, sprocket gear. And this is the example of a pizza and you can see that this pie and let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6 number of pies uh, uh, completing a 360 degree. And this is the example of a uh, path array. You can see that this instance and you can see this path. Okay. So let's go to AutoCAD to practice this uh, array. And uh, first, uh, let's say I will start from rectangular array and I will drag this example to here. Uh, for creating array, uh, I need to make uh, a very simple geometry. Let's say I will start from ellipse and let's make uh, an ellipse here. Okay. So let's use uh, rectangular array first. I can use this array command either from here or from here. So let's go to your command line and let's write shortcut key for array which is AR. I will write AR and I will press enter. And now it will ask you to select object. So I will select this object and press enter key. And now it is asking to create rectangular array, path array or polar array. So I will write rectangular array and now a preview is generated. Although it is not the final preview. And you can see that we have four number of columns, one, two, three, four, and we have three number of rows, one, two, three. So let's change this to, let's say, uh, let's say seven number of columns and five number of rows. And now you can see that this preview is changed from the previous one. And this is the spacing. Let's say I will change this to 800. And let's say I will change this to uh, maybe 400. And now you can see that. Uh, this array is uh, uh, created. Uh, this is the parametric array and we can change these instances uh, uh, anytime. Okay. So just close this array. And uh, now I will use the second example, which is the circular array. So for creating circular array, uh, let's say we need a circle. And uh, let's use this center with radius. And I will make a circle here. Okay. Uh, I will make uh, a very small rectangle, maybe this one, I will select this one, I will go to here uh, uh, move tool and uh, I will select the center point and I will select this quadrant and I will place this rectangle onto this circle. Okay. So let's use this polar array or circular array and remember uh, this polar array is also called uh, circular array or circular pattern in some software like SOLIDWORKS. So just press exit and uh, now I will go to here uh, and I will search for polar array. You can see this preview as well and select objects this one press enter key and now uh, it is asking you to use a base point or an axis of rotation. So I will use this point. And now you can see that this preview is generated, although it is not the final array, but it is the uh, preview. I can change this. So let's say uh, here we have six number of patterns, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say I will change this to 20 
and now you can see that number of instances are uh, 20 uh, rather than 6 okay now this is the spacing and this is the uh, fill angle uh, it is a 360 degree angle and uh, uh, which means that it is a full circle i can change this to uh, semicircle or 180 degree and now you can see that these instances are created in uh, uh, 180 degree now let's change back to 360 okay uh, just double click again and uh, now here we have uh, uh, options like rotate items uh, so basically they are rotating in uh, this direction uh, this is basically the anti-clockwise and I can change this to clockwise just uh, see this arrow now here we have another very important uh, option in this uh, polar array and which is uh, rotate items uh, you can see that first this rectangle is uh, horizontal and uh, then it is not horizontal uh, it is at some uh, uh, orientation or some angle uh, with the reference of this circle so uh, let's say if we want to create a uh, polar array with this same orientation okay with this same orientation of the base object so i will select this option uh, rotate items okay and now you can see that the orientation of all items are same uh, next is uh, i will use uh, path array so just press exit or select this option close array i will drag this to maybe here for creating a uh, path array we need to create uh, path and object so i will go to here draw and i will use this option uh, spline and i will create a random spline and press enter and now you can see that a random spline is created uh, let's make a rectangle and i will use uh, uh, this rectangle uh, to create pattern onto this spline so let's make a rectangle here and uh, now i will select this rectangle i will go to here move tool i will snap this center point and i will drag this to here so first i will let's say drag this uh, to maybe here so that it cannot interfere with this uh, rectangular array uh, i will search for uh, array command and it is asking you to select object so i will select this rectangle and i will press enter now it is asking you uh, to select uh, type of array and i will use this option path array now it is asking you to select the path curve which is this one and now you can see that a preview is generated of a path array and here you have uh, these kinds of options uh, this is spacing let's say i want to change its spacing to 600 and now you can see that uh, this spacing is uh, changed uh, now we have 21 number of items uh, we can either use uh, this option or use this option so let's say i want to use this option items not this spacing and for this i have to change this uh, major option and uh, i will use let's say this option divide and now you can see that uh, i can use this option item count let's say i want to use uh, 30 number of uh, instances so i will use 30 and i will press enter and now you can see that we have 30 number of instances and now this spacing is uh, basically reduced to 432 so either we can use the major option or we can use this divide option uh, also uh, let's say i want to use this option tangent so I specify the tangent direction so let's say the tangent direction is uh, this one and now you can see that this uh, array is uh, generated using that uh, direction uh, so let's close this array and we have another very important uh, option uh, which i really like regarding this uh, uh, array command and uh, let's say uh, i will use this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, polar array so just double click it and uh, just cancel this one and let's say i want to edit the source object so i'll go to here edit source object and it is asking you to select array i will select this one uh, select ok and this is the source so let's say i want to change this source to maybe a bigger rectangle and now you can see that these all are updated according to this uh, source 
so it is a very dynamic and uh, a very versatile command in uh, autocad uh, so that concludes this uh, uh, exercise and i hope uh, now you can create uh, your custom arrays in autocad uh, basically we have these three uh, three types of uh, uh, arrays in uh, autocad and this was the previous example i had created uh, before making this tutorial uh, so that concludes this uh, exercise and uh, if you have still uh, any query uh, related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you